Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my co-host, Jeff Fisher. And we are on location at Canterbury Park in Shakopee. Now, Jeff, I know that you recently did some testing with Speedworks, so tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, we actually went out to Colorado and went testing with Speedworks. Jeremy put me to work as one of his test grunts. They said, I actually got a chance to wrench on the sleds, drive the sleds. We actually did drag racing up the hills, which was one of my favorites. Actually test each sled head to head up the side of these mountains. It was absolutely fantastic. Well, that's certainly something that I don't want to miss. Take a look. Arctic Cat's new ProClimb chassis pushes mountain riding to the next level. Speedworks is a way to boost engine performance to make the most out of the new ProClimb chassis. Hey guys, Jeremy from Speedworks here. We're out west, uh, up at about 9,000 feet, working in that 9 to 12,000 range, working on some testing, some calibration. And the key things we're focusing on here, we're going to show you guys our, our newest, hottest, latest, and greatest product, our, our new supercharger kits. Uh, this here, as you can see, is on a 2012 unit. We've got our ProCharger head unit custom Speedworks exhaust, uh, prototype lightweight muffler. This is our second day out on the snow with this sled and this thing's running phenomenally well. And then here we've got, uh, this is one of our 2010, 2011 test mules. This also has our supercharger kit on it. Uh, pretty much the same components that I just showed you in the 2012. Uh, obviously the fit and finish is different with the completely different chassis. So we'll have both of the, the 2012 and this 2010, 2011 unit out there, shaking them down, just so we can show you a real world scenario of what these things are capable of. The, the next big question we get is guys are like, well, why? Why do I want to go supercharger? Why do I want to do this? The, 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 the thing a supercharger does that nothing else does, I mean, we, we all build boost. Um, when we have a blower, whether it's a turbo or supercharger, we're all building boost, but what the supercharger does is it builds it like that. The snap of your fingers, it's building boost. So our, our acceleration, our throttle response is unlike anything else that's boosted. So if you're looking for, if you're looking for something good, snappy, um, great acceleration, great throttle response in the trees, out of the trees, tight bowls, back where it's, where it's steep and nasty, supercharger is the way to go, for sure, no questions asked. The testing moved on to a power robbing hill climb. We're out here doing some comparative drag races between the two the two supercharger sleds they have with us and a somewhat stock 2012 800 with our single pipe exhaust system, lightweight muffler, clutching and fuel controller. Just doing some comparative drag races uh, to get a feel as to where some of the changes we're making, where they're at, um, how it's uh, track speed going up the hill, um, and just where the sleds are at so you guys can see the difference. You know, when you, when you spend all that money on a supercharger kit, you know, well, what's it going to do different than the stock one? We're putting it in this drag race form so you guys can see just in a straight line up a hill um, what we've got going on. The race begins. The two boosted sleds always run up front. Regardless of the rider or lane selection, the supercharged HCR is the fastest sled. Speedworks goes through rigorous testing scenarios, so the end product is perfect for the consumer. So earlier in the day we were showing you guys who went over the sleds on these new superchargers, showed you the 2012 version, showed you the 2010, 2011 version. Uh, we, we put them through all kinds of different types of scenarios today as far as drag racing up the hill, side hilling, down hilling, carving, you name it. Put everything through those paces so you guys can get a get a real world perspective as far as what are these things are capable of. And we had a, we had the stock one in there too, so you guys can see the difference. Um, you know, boosted versus non-boosted, what we're what we're dealing with and what you're looking at for performance gains and things like that. If you have an Arctic Cat mountain sled that needs a little more power, go to Speedworks for the most reliable and real world tested products on snow. Very cool stuff. And you know, Jeremy, I don't think that I realized how much you guys actually test and tweak all your products. We, it, it's never ending, constantly evolving process. Uh, we're testing products that are gonna be coming out one year from now, five years from now, uh, just like cell phones. Uh, you buy a new one and the next week you got something new and better out. It's constantly like that. I mean, that's just how the world works. And we wanna make sure that our products are, are keeping up with what the industry's doing, 
uh, what our customers want, things like that. So it's, it's a never non-stop, always evolving process. It's very true, and I know if I need or if I want an Articat mod, I know exactly where I'm going. The home of horsepower, of course. All right, Sledder, stay right where you are because Sledder 24-7 is coming right back. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, Jeff Fisher has the story of a turbocharged ambassador from Skidoo in the snowy range mountains of Wyoming.